Ballet is based on tradition and on passing knowledge. So there's both ways to pass knowledge. There's the ballet master. You pass your experience to dancer in the studio. And there's the written knowledge, which is archives, the trace. The pas de bourrée is on demi-point. Pas de char, pas de bourrée, pas de char, pas de bourrée. When I stopped dancing and I decided to learn notation, which I had done when I was at school in White Lodge and hated it, absolutely hated it. This is now the seventh eight. So from the corners we've had five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because it's so, it's quite removed from dance. It's, it's very mathematical and it's a different brain. It takes a different brain. The bottom line is the floor level, then we've got the knee uh, level, the waist level, the shoulder level and the top of the head level. In that stave you find all the information about the body. On top of the stave you find all the information about the dynamic, uh, the energy and the timing, the rhythm. Under you've got everything related to space. So it's a very complete system and you always start with what you're reading in the stave itself because it's the body and then you start to read above to have the quality, the dynamic and the information under to have the space. So it's three levels of reading. Good, wrong John. The dream notation was uh, done in 1964, it would have actually taken probably about a year to, to write the whole book, the whole ballet, because it's an hour long and it's actually in two volumes. This ballet actually was written by uh, somebody called Faith Worth, who was the very first notator that graduated from the Benesch Institute. Rudolf Benesch was an accountant and he was always very interested in painting and art in general, but he was also a very good musician. So that's why the notation is uh, written on a musical stave.